an MIT study, MIT, not some random internet poll. It says the whole vibe of using ChatGPT messed with people's thinking, as in weak memory, lazy habits, poor decision making, a memorable drop in creativity. Oh my God! Not to be dramatic, but giving a brain rot. Let me make this clear. This study, as shocking as it sounds, isn't perfect. The sample size is small. The design is flawed, probably due to the same reason every university project cuts corners, budget, and time, and many other issues that are affecting the results. But the conclusion is still dangerous if you don't pay attention. Today, I have a guest speaker, Ahmad Nazal, a medical doctor and neuroscientist who is focusing on AI in clinical practice and education. We will walk you through the actual study step by step, where it hits, where it is limited, how we should be using AI. I'd have to mention that task relevance is important because they had techy MIT students writing about who knows what, the kind where you're asked if art can change lives or if loyalty requires criticism. Beautiful questions, but not everyone connects with them, especially under pressure. Some people just didn't vibe with the topic, and you can't tell in their writing and effort. Because newsflash, cognitive effort goes up when people are actually interested. If it were me, let me write about AI or a novel medical device or drug delivery, I will give you fire. But if I don't care, I'm copying ChatGPT and going to bed. For the study, I'd divide participants by interest clusters: philosophy babes, science kings, tech bros, humanity nerds, and tailored prompts that match their vibe. You want authentic effort where you can measure how much people would use their brain cells for. Start with curiosity. Speaking of the participants, they are using only college students who are one of the most sleep-deprived, assignment-overloaded, caffeine-saturated species on Earth. They are not thinking; they're surviving. So of course they are gonna copy paste something from ChatGPT in 20 minutes and call it a day. Give me the grade. I gonna go cry in my dorm. So maybe don't generalize these results to adults with mortgages and opinions. That's why I would like to redesign the study like this. Let people screen record and the camera facing the draft paper on the desk so we can see how they write. When they flip between sources, how they think. Not just submit essay, analyze with some brain scan and buy. Doing the full recording will allow you to track what people actually do when thinking with ChatGPT. Capture every frustrated sigh. Every deleted prompt, every huh, that's interesting. That's the juicy stuff. And from that, you can group participants by usage style, like the explorers who ask a million things, the skeptics who double check everything, like me, the copy pasters we see you, the rewriters. Who just use it as a rough base? I have a full video analyzing how this MIT study may be flawed in design and drawing conclusion, and how we should be using ChatGPT to help with our critical thinking. If you want to hear the medical doctor and neuroscientist Ahmad Nazar's opinion, you can jump to the timestamp eight minutes.